you're watching a special edition of the best damn sports show, period. It's the making of America's favorite pastime. The field, the player, the situation, and the nation's biggest stage. It's where the good become great, the great become heroes, and the heroes become legends. In those glorious moments, there are memories built on others' misfortune. It gets through Buckner! Sad, sad story. I don't believe it! I don't Still, for every misstep, there is magic. Tonight, we celebrate the unforgettable moments that are forever etched in our minds with the top 50 memorable baseball plays. Welcome to the top 50 most memorable baseball plays right here on the Best Damn Sports Show, period. I am your host, Chris Rose, as always, joined by my partner in crime, Rob Dibble, a two-time baseball all-star. Dibbs, tonight we are showing off the best from the diamond, but before we start doing that, i, I got to ask you, you are a lifelong Cincinnati Red, and you are wearing Dodger blue. Why? There's only one reason I would put on a Dodger uniform. It's out of respect for this man. Ah, Jackie Robinson. Great one. I'm wearing a Hall of Famer. I know you are. Do you know who? I do know who it is, go ahead, but I Jared, won't give Jared, it away. No, go ahead. Player manager Frank Robinson. Very good. Very nice job. Nice Thank job. you. Maybe we'll see him. Maybe we'll see Jackie Robinson. I hope so. You never know. So let's start watching. Top 50 memorable plays of all time. Number 50. Griffey slides past the Yankees. Number 49, the curse is reversed. Back to full. Red Sox fans have longed to hear it. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. It has been 86 years. Generations have come and gone. And for the first time since 1918, the Boston Red Sox are champions of baseball. Number 48, Kevin Mitchell's one-handed grab. And that's sliced to, to left field, and it's another chance for Mitchell, and he makes a bare-handed catch! In my entire life, I've never seen that happen. <laughs> Number 47, Bonds. The overshift is on, and Bassett deals, and Bonds hits one high! Number 46, John Frito robs DiMaggio. Joe leans in. Here's the pitch. Swung on, belt it. It's a long one. Deep into left center. Back for John Frito. Back, 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 back. He makes a one handed catch against the bullpen. Oh, doctor. He went exactly against the railing in front of the bullpen and reached up with one hand and took a home run away from DiMaggio. Number 45, the Braves' new world. Pittsburgh 2, Atlanta 1, with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning in Game 7 of the National League Championship Series. He hacked at the 2-0, now the 2-1. Line drive and a base hit! Just as the score of the tying run, Green to the plate, and he is safe! Safe at the plate! The Braves go to the World Series! The unlikeliest of heroes wins the National League Championship Series for the Atlanta Braves. Number 44, Edmonds catch for the ages. 
There's a fly ball center field. Long run for Jim Edmonds. Two, three, four, five steps before he dies. Jerry, that may be the best catch I have ever seen. Number 43, the Rocket sets the K record. Roger Clemens, one strikeout away from a major league record. Bill Bradley has struck out three times. He was number two, number seven, and number 15. set a major league record for strikeouts in a game. 20. Number 42, Tino ties it up. So now it's the tying run at the plate in the person of Tino Martinez, and the Diamondbacks are one out away from taking a three games to one lead in this 2001 World Series. One on, two out. Martinez hits one to deep right center field. At the wall. Number 41, Mr. November wins it. Kim trying to send this game to the 11th. Credit Kim with settling down enough after that deflating home run to get out of the ninth. Taking care of the first two here in the 10th. Jeter hits it into right. Back at the wall. Game over. Yankees win and the series is tied. Number 40, Brocious gets Kim again. Yet another example right here, putting Kim right back over the coals. Now it's up to Brocious for New York. They're at second, two out, two nothing Arizona here in game five. Brocious hits one in the left. All right, watching that highlight with a closer is not easy. No, it's not because, you know, that's your worst nightmare is giving up home runs in a big situation like that in a, in a very important game. In consecutive nights. Yeah, in consecutive nights. In I, the World Series. And you never forget the negatives. <laughs> right. The worst things you ever do in your career, you will never get rid of those in your head. Another play from that great 2001 World Series is coming your way, so please stick around. Still to come, we're just 10 deep in our most memorable baseball plays. Here's a sneak preview of some of the rest. Want to see more? You're going to want to keep watching the best damn top 50 memorable baseball plays. History is waiting. You're watching best damn's top 50 most memorable baseball plays. She's gone! There is number 73. Whoa. And it settles into the upper deck. Oh, my goodness. The hit that makes history. And there it goes. We are tied. Can you believe this hit? Oh, drive. Deep left field. Over the road. How about Albert Poole? Over the scoreboard, bouncing up onto the freeway. I can see it up there where those automobiles are going. Oh, McGuire. 538 feet. Did he ever get you? No, thank God he never got me. Uh, Cecil Fielder never got me. So I, I was Helps very lucky. there in the other league, I guess, huh? Yeah, but I did spend a year in that other league, and, and uh, thankfully I got through those guys when I needed to. That way. Well, you just saw some of the bigger blasts in baseball history. As we now continue our countdown, our next play, a big fly that came from a very unlikely source of power at a crucial time. Number 39. Go crazy, folks. Go crazy. As he hangs over the plate, he's not the long ball threat from the left side. Hard to handle the smoking Tom Needenfield. Smith corks one into right down the line. It may go. Go crazy, folks. Go crazy. It's a home run. And the Cardinals have won the game by the score.
number 38, Jack Clark, does in the Dodgers. So he's not going to walk him. It is Jack Clark and Tom Needenfuhr going head to head. And the ball game on the line and the crowd on its feet. One way or another, what a way to end. And he hits one to deep left field. And that one is gone. And Lasorda got the answer to his rhetorical question. Something about should I walk this guy and pitch to that so-and-so. Well, he didn't walk him. Number 37, Charlie Hustle saves the day. Philadelphia 4, Kansas City 1, top of the ninth. Bases are loaded. Frank White, who is 2 for 24 in the batter's box. It's popped up. Boom, Rose, they'll have a play. Number 36, seven for the Ryan Express. One out to go. Ryan the sign. Here's the windup. And the 2-2 two, two pitch. He's got the ball. Number 35, Ozzy's one-handed wonder. 3-2 pitch coming up. Ground ball to Smith. Oh, doctor! You can hang a star on that, baby! That absolutely defies description. Woo! Number 34, Jeffrey Mayer steals one for the Yanks. In right field, Tarasco going back to the track, to the wall. Here he contends that a fan reaches up and touches it, but Richie Garcia says no, it's a home run. Here comes Davey Johnson out to argue as Jeter comes across to tie the game. Number 33, Renteria wins it for the Marlins. The 0 1 pitch, a liner off Maggie's glove in the center field. Number 32, Ortiz keeps the Sox alive. Ortiz in the deep right field. Back is Sheffield. We'll see you later tonight. A five-hour, two-minute game and worth every second of it for the Boston Red Sox. Number 31, Derek's fabulous flip. You got to wait for a gapper. Number 30, I am the greatest. He's going. Here comes the throw. He's got it. Today, I am the greatest of all time. Thank you. Still to come, Aaron and Aaron, Bucky and the Babe. Cal and Carlton. It's the ABCs of memorable baseball plays. But does the alphabetical order match ours? Don't move. The top 50 most memorable baseball plays will be right back. You're watching Best Damn's top 50 most memorable baseball plays. Number 29, David versus Goliath. So we're down to the last out for the Yankees. Dent, the tie and run at second. Tiebreaker, Blair's at first. Reggie Jackson is the batter. You couldn't ask for a more dramatic moment for a young pitcher to walk into right here. Great one. Wow. 21 years old. Bob Welch. 
Powell's it back with fastball. It's one ball, two strikes, two outs. Number 28, Rose rides into the record books. He levels it out a couple of times. Shao kicks and he fires. Rose swings. There it is. There it is. Get out. Get out. All right. Hit number 41-92. A live drive single into left center field. A clean base hit. And it is pandemonium here in Riverfront Stadium. Number 27. The curse continues. Aaron Boone to lead off. His first at bat of the game. There's a fly ball deep to left. It's on its way. There it goes. And the Yankees are going to the World Series. Aaron Boone has hit a home run. The Yankees go to the World Series for the 39th time in their remarkable history. Number 26, Raising Arizona. 2-2, bottom of the ninth. Game seven of the World Series. Bases loaded. Floater, center field. The Diamondbacks are world champions. Number 25, third time's a charm for Reggie. Look at Reggie Jackson, a whole long season. Number 24, a sticky situation. The best fastball pitcher in baseball and just about the best fastball hitter in baseball, George Brett. What a confrontation. Was set by Gossage. The pitch deep to right field. Holy cow, I don't believe it. Home run for George Brett. And Billy Martin now is coming out. Take a look at that bat. There's a big huddle out there. You can th see just how high the pine tar is. Oh, oh, I can't believe that. Wait a minute, I, I Bill. Can't Wait a minute. That. They did that to Kevin Munson. I, I can't. I, and Brett is upset, and I, don't, I can't believe that, Bill. Number 23, Teddy Ballgame's last career at bat. Well, you can bet your bottom dollar Williams would like to hit one out of here right now. There's a drive. Number 22, Kirby's unforgettable catch. The set by Erickson. Check of the runner, Pendleton, and the pitch. Gant swings and hits one very high and deep to left center. Back is Puckett. He's at the fence. He leaps up. He caught it. Oh, what a catch. Oh, Kirby Puckett with a great grab in left center field. Number 21, Chambliss' home run in the Bronx Zoo. Chambliss is so hot, he's got his shirt on button. He's in heat. Mark Littell delivers high drive. It's in right center field. That's good. And it is gone. Chris Chambliss has won the American League pennant for the New York Yankees. A thrilling, dramatic game with overtones of that great sixth game in the World Series a year ago and then the seventh game. What a way for the American League season to end. A 
this funky young Kansas City team. Look at them, Bob Chris Campbell. What a season he has had. What a series he has had. Dude, that literally was the Bronx Zoo. They let all the animals out afterward. He went from home run hero to linebacker. Right. He's fighting guys off just to get through the crowd. How scared do you think he was? He he later said that he was really, really scared that something was going to happen to him. But in the pandemonium, I don't even think he got the home play. Oh, Look at the guys that? out. You were watching on TV? I was watching said? that as a kid on TV. It was unbelievable. Yeah. What a great moment. Wow. Well, guys, uh, boy, <laughs> that was number 21. I can't wait to see what's in the top 20. You should stay tuned as well. There's plenty more ahead of the top 50 most memorable baseball plays. These power hitters prove that chicks still dig the long ball. But for some, it's easier to steal one, whether you're a player, a fan, or an umpire. Looks like he's out. Oh, yes. Our top 50 enters the stretch after this. You're watching Best Damn's top 50 most memorable baseball plays. Jackson says hello. That hit the transformer up there. Oh, what a catch by Torrey Hunter. He gets a 9-8 for this. It is a home run. And there it is, the first grand slam in all-star history. He wants no part of Randy Johnson. None, nada. Look at the homers in his final all-star game. Welcome back. You just saw some of the best plays from the Midsummer Classic, a game you played in twice. You were the losing pitcher in one, weren't you? Uh, not the losing pitcher, but, but gave I gave up, up the, the losing run. Sorry, right? I mean, but to Julio Franco, he was the MVP. It was awful. Good job, dude. Thank you. Anyway, uh, the next play on our <laughs> countdown, the most unforgettable all-star play. It helped one's playing career and basically ruined another. Number 20, All-Star Collision. One and one to the waiting Jim Hickman. And right into the stretch. Looking back and throws up the middle. Rose is on his way around. Picked up by Otis. Rose is coming to the plate. Throws the throw. He's in. It's all over. The National League win. Pete Rose barreled into Ray Fossey, who is slow in getting up. The line drive single of the Chicago Cubs, Jim Hickman, scores Cincinnati's Pete Rose. The final score, the National League 5, the American League 4. Number 19, Maris hits number 61. We got a handful of people sitting out in left field, but in right field, man, it is mobbed out there. And they're standing up. Here's the windup. Fastball hits deep to right. Number 18, McGuire hits number 62. Here comes the man of the hour, Mark McGuire, as Matt McGuire looks on, wondering if this is the at bat. Tuesday, September 8th, and Mark McGuire moves one place in front of Roger Barris. Down the left field line, is it enough? Number 17. We'll see you tomorrow night. One of the big guys for the Twins leads it off in the 11th. Here Into deep left center from Mitchell. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Number 16, 
Jackie steals home. Robinson kind of shaking up the ballpark a bit as he dances down off third. Robbie's coming to the plate. The throw to Barra. He steals it. He steals it. Number 15, Dankinger's blown call. First base umpire is Dinkinger, American League. Any ball to the right side, you get there as quick as you can. I think he tries to go for the ball. His argument is he gets the side of the bag. Looks like he's out. Oh, yes. Right on top of the bag. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it. Number 14. Hendu crushes the Angels. Here's the pitch. There's a fly ball to left field. Downing is going back, back, back. It's gone! It is gone! Dave Henderson has homered. And the Boston Red Sox have taken the lead. The crowd is stunned. The Red Sox players are coming out of the dugout to greet Henderson, who has hit a home run. Number 13, Bartman. Again in the air, down the left field line. Oh, reaching into the stands and couldn't get it. He's with it with a fan. There you see it again, the fans. There's a couple fans in there reaching out there to try to catch the ball. Here in Wrigley, when the opposing team hits a home run, they throw the ball back onto the field. I'm surprised someone hasn't thrown that fan onto the field. Number 12, Bucky F Dent. The count's one and one. Two outs and two on. The Red Sox lead at 2-0 in the seventh inning here at Fenway. Deep to left. Yastrzemski will not get it. It's a home run. A three-run home run for Bucky Dent. The Yankees now lead it by a score of 3-2. Bucky Dent has just hit his fifth home run of the year into the screen. And look at that Yankee pitch. Led by Bob Lemon. Number 11, Babe Ruth's called shot. And now Babe Ruth is pointing out towards center field, and he's yelling at the Cubs that the next pitch over is going out in the center field. Now he's looking toward the stand. And here's the pitch to Connor Ball, two and strike two. It's coming, Babe Ruth connects, and there it goes. The ball is going, going, going. They were over there going crazy. And I looked down at center field and I pointed. I said, I'm going to hit the next pitch ball right past the flagpole. Well, the good Lord must have been with me. Still to come, take 2131, multiply by 715, subtract two feet that way, plus one unforgettable blown save, and zero batters allowed on base. What do you get? Somehow, it'll all add up to the top ten. Don't move. You're watching Best Damn's Top 50 Most Memorable Baseball Plays. Boys. Sleep! Look at those nasty boys. Oh, babe. Where were you? You were. You I was warming up in the bullpen over on the side of Benzinger when he caught the ball. I had the next hitter. Really? Yeah. So were, you a little, were you a little pissed you didn't get in? Uh, no, because it was the same thing in the playoffs. So I was kind of good luck warming up. The last right. out of the playoffs, I was warming up. The last out of the World Series, warming up. So it was great was to see luck. in that video. Thank you. Didn't make the top 50, but it still was pretty cool. That was very cool. Thank you. All right. So we moved from one World Series to yet another, taking you back 50 years for pure perfection. Number 10, 
Larson's perfection. Two strikes, ball one to Dale Mitchell. Listen to this crowd. Larson is ready, gets the sign. Two strikes, ball one. Here comes the pitch. Strike three. A no hitter of perfect game for Don Larson. Yogi Berra runs out there. He leaps on Larson and he's formed by his teammates. Listen to this crowd roar. Number nine. Cal's night to remember. So now Cal Ripken and the fans give him another standing ovation here. If he throws one down the middle here, even on 3-0, we... Yeah, he'll still Cal. swing at it. Yeah. Okay. 3-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Swing at it! Go! 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 Yes! Number eight, Mass's moment. She goes a swing and a high fly ball going deep left and they do it. Back to the wall goes Barra, it is. Over the back, over and the Pirates win. Mazeroski has hit a 1-0 pitch over the left field fence and fourth field to win the 1960 World Series. Number seven, O Canada. So the tying run is at second. The run that would win the World Series is at first, and Joe Carter is the batter. Now the 2-2. Well hit down the left field line. Way back and go! Joe Carter with a three-run homer. The winners and still world champions, the Toronto Blue Jays. Number six, Hammer and Hank. Here's the pitch by Downing. Swinging. There's a drive into left center field. That ball is going to be out of here. It's gone. It's seven good days. There's a new home run champion of all time. And it's Henry Aaron. The fireworks are going. Henry Aaron is coming around third. His teammates are at home plate. And listen to this crowd. Coming up, does defense really win championships? The Say Hey Kid tells it like it is. The top five is next. You're watching Best Damn's Top 50 Most Memorable Baseball Plays. by Derek Jeter. An unbelievable grab. Oh, oh, David Wright! Punch Rodriguez hangs on. What a way to end it. All right, welcome back. And there you saw some of the best defensive plays that didn't crack our top 50. That brings us to arguably the best defensive play of all time. Number five, the Say Hey Kid. Number four, Fisk pushes it fair. And the wind blowing out. We've had three homers tonight, all the right field or right or center field. Here's Fisk. There it goes, a long drive. If it stays fair, home run. We will have a seventh game in this 1975 World Series. Red Sox win it 7-6 in 12 innings. And Carl Fisk had a lot of little boy in him right there, Joe. A lot of body English for Carl Fisk. Huh? Watch him. <laughs> How many steps does he take? One. He waits to see it. Get over. Get over. <laughs> he knew it. There it is. Number three. 
Buckner. The winning run is at second base with two out. Three and two to Mookie Wilson. Little roller up along first. Behind the base. words you have seen about a million words but more than that you have seen an absolutely bizarre finish to game six of the 1986 world series the mets are not only alive they are well and they will play the red sox in game seven tomorrow coming up the bottom of the ninth in our countdown show what are the two left the top of all and did you miss any the Cliff Notes are on the other side of this break. Stick around. This is what you've been waiting for. You're watching Best Damn's Top 50 Most Memorable Baseball Plays. That's right, Dibs. We are now in the bottom of the ninth in our Top 50 Memorable Plays show. Now, if you missed it or you just want to see it all again, here's a quick look at the first 48. Every kid's dream is to have a walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth in a World Series. But well, let's take you to Dodger Stadium, where that exact magic happened with unforgettable dramatics. Number two, Gibby's L.A. Story. Jack, the guy you're talking about coming out. Hey, look at the way he's limping. That's impossible for him to come out and bat, isn't it? He has been diagnosed as having ligament damage, and of course that's the Kurt Gibson who has a chance here to win the ball game. He represents the uh, wedding run at home. He could win the game with one swing. And this game will end on a dramatic note, one way or the other. We have a big 3-2 pitch coming here from Eckersley. Gibson swings and a fly ball to deep right field. This is going to be a home run. Unbelievable. A home run for Gibson. And the Dodgers have won the game 5-4. I don't I think it's so amazing. He's on the training table the yeah. whole the whole game, gets up, his only at bat of the whole series, yep. and he hits a home run off Eckerson. Unbelievable. So if that's not moment number one, what do you think he is? Wow. Let's see. Number one, the shot heard round the world.
Apologies to Ralph Branca on that one. Awesome. You know, there's rumors that actually they knew what pitch was right, coming in that, that hole. Do you buy that hole? Stuff, cheating and all that. You Doesn't know what? matter. You until... still got to hit it, even if you know it's coming. All right, so Love there it. you go. There's our top 50. Do you agree with our countdown? Do you disagree? Well, simply let us know. Log on to foxsports.com backslash best damn. You know, feel free to write in. Dibble picked the 50 himself, so direct everything to him. Go to his house. Yeah, that's right. Right, egg my house. Thanks very much. <laughs> well, we certainly hope you enjoyed the journey down uh, baseball's memory lane. I know we definitely did. And uh, you guys have a great weekend. Thanks very much for watching. See you next week.